Here's the ultimate list of the top 10 most beautiful Bond girls of the 80s. And apart from liking this video and subscribing to our channel, let's just skip the BS and get right into the good stuff. Let's talk about Claire Bouquet's impeccable portrayal of none other than Melina Havelock in the riveting classic, For Your Eyes Only. She comes in at number 10. Let me tell you about this Bond girl. She was not your run-of-the-mill femme fatale. Oh no, Melina wasn't just here to bat her eyelashes. She was on a mission, a mission that spelled retribution and courage. And let's not forget that crossbow, a symbol of her poise and empowerment. Carol Bouquet made sure Melina wasn't just a damsel in distress. She was a woman who could hold her own. Why does she snag this spot on our list? Because crossbow. Now, let's shift our attention to number nine, Lynn Holly Johnson and her portrayal of B.B. Doll in the electrifying For Your Eyes Only. Let me tell you, Lynn Holly brought to life the aspiring ice skater with a mix of charm and, as they say, naivete. Very hard to resist. Bond could not resist her. Look at her. How could he resist her? How can you resist her? I'll tell you how. You can't. Why does she secure her place on our list? Well, let me tell you. Lynn Holly Johnson can light up the screen like a Starburst. Who doesn't like Starburst? Comment below. What's your favorite Starburst flavor? Mine is strawberry. Moving on. Next on our list, Christina Wayborn's portrayal of Magda in Octopussy secures her spot. As a circus performer caught in Bond's world, her character added layers of intrigue. Her screen presence was captivating and her chemistry with Bond was electric. Man, this guy gets along with every kind of girl, am I right? Her ability to convey a mix of strength and vulnerability makes Magda a memorable Bond girl. So why is she ranked where she is? Two words, circus performer. Huh? Let's move on. Brace yourself. Next on the list, the electrifying Grace Jones who burst into the Bond scene as a character named Mayday in A View to a Kill on the James Bond franchise. You see, Mayday was more than just a henchwoman. She was a complex character who oozed danger and allure. Grace's distinctive appearance was what empowerment in the 80s was made of. So why does Grace Jones occupy this spot on my list? Well, it's the way she shattered stereotypes and redefined beauty standards. Plus, I'm pretty sure if she would not be on this list, she would beat me up. Have you seen her? Look at her. She's fierce. Now, let's dive into the world of espionage and elegance a little deeper with Fiona Fullerton's portrayal of Pola Iovana in A View to a Kill. With her sophisticated charm and undeniable allure, Fiona brought a touch of class to the Bond series. That's what this uh, series needs, a little class, am I right? Her striking beauty and undeniable presence made her a memorable addition to the Bond girl roster. But what secured her spot on the list? It's her voice. There's something undeniably magnetic about a sultry, confident voice, and Fiona had a way of drawing you in. It's all about how she delivered those lines. Moving on! Now we're gonna delve into the fiery allure of Carrie Lowell. Oh, Carrie Lowell. She blazed onto the Bond scene as Pam Bouvier, licensed to kill. Smoldering gaze, fierce determination. Pam's chemistry with Bond was electric. Come on, this guy gets, again, this guy gets along with everyone. Now, why does Carrie Lowell claim her place on her list? Well, it's that irresistible blend of strength and sensuality she brought to the role, proving that in the world of Bond, a woman is just as captivating and capable as any secret agent. As we move into the top four, coming in at number four, Maud Adams, who graced us with her captivating presence as Octopussy in the film of the same name. A woman of mystery, a woman of power, running a sophisticated operation that did not go unnoticed by 007. You know why? 
because nothing goes by unnoticed by 007. There is no one better. Jason Bourne could probably beat him in a fight. But other than Jason Bourne, nobody better than 007. Why did she rank this spot on my list? I mean, look at her. Moving on, we set our sights on the captivating Miriam de Abo. With her doe-like eyes and delicate beauty, she stood out amidst all the chaos around her. Now, why does Miriam de Abo deserve her spot this high on the list? Well, I'll admit it, I'm kind of an idiot. I thought she was part of the Wonder Years family. Remember, I, I thought she played that uh, blonde, strung-out hippie sister. Turns out that's just her cousin, Olivia. Ah, the perils of mistaken identity, but it benefits Miriam de Abo. We are coming up to the final two. Prepare to be captivated by the enchanting Talicia Soto, who set hearts racing as Lupe Lamora in License to Kill. With her magnetic beauty and her hint of mystery, Talisa brought a dose of exotic allure to the Bond universe. As a woman trapped in the world of danger, she oozed both sensuality and vulnerability, a juxtaposition that fueled the intrigue of her character. Her expressive eyes and graceful presence added layers to Lupe's persona, making her a standout in the Bond girl legacy. So why did Talicia Soto earn her position on our list? I'll be honest, it's legs. I've always been a connoisseur of legs, uh, mostly chicken. Chicken legs, drumsticks. Moving on to the number one spot, the most beautiful Bond girl from the 80s in this reporter's opinion. It has to be the sizzling Tanya Roberts who set hearts ablaze as Stacy Sutton in a view to Hill. With a sultry allure that could melt glaciers, Tanya brought a whole new level of sensuality to the Bond franchise. As Stacy Sutton, she was a fiery force to be reckoned with, exuding an irresistible blend of intelligence and raw sexiness. Oh, the sparks that flew between her and Roger Moore's Bond were nothing short of incendiary, adding an extra layer of heat to the screen. So why does she rank this high on the list claiming the number one spot? Is it her mesmerizing curves and her smoldering looks? Probably. What can I say? That is why she is the number one hottest Bond girl of the 80s. There you have it. That is my list. I'm challenging you. Am I right? Am I wrong? Go down to the comments. Light them up. Tell me if I'm right. Tell me if I'm wrong. Did I screw up the order? I guarantee I did not. Comment below. Subscribe. All that stuff. Ring the bell. Smash the like button. Whatever the kids say.